Well, let's talk then about the situation in Spain for today's perspective. And joining us now from Barcelona is political analyst Antonio Vives. He's a senior advisor at the London School of Economics and former mayor of Barcelona. Thanks very much for being with us on the programme today. We've had four elections in four years, still no clear outcome. I mean, this is a, a bit of a disaster for Spain, isn't it? It is a total disaster. And I think that what Spain is facing is a constitutional crisis. Uh, because of uh, its incapacity from the institutional level to solve the Catalan problem and all what is derived from it. And if we are not able to face that problem uh, from the democratic side, uh, then we will be lost in the middle of, uh, in the middle of this, as you call it, disaster. Whose um, fault is it this time round? I mean, do you blame Pedro Sanchez, the, the socialists? It's them who called the election, hoping to get a stronger hand. Yeah, Pedro Sanchez is uh, uh, known by being a good tactician of himself, but this time he, he went uh, bridge too far. And he uh, was not able to understand that the political crisis had to be uh, uh, tackled from politics, not using the, the judiciary, neither trying to win by the hand his uh, opponents uh, at, the, at the democratic side, the left, uh, the Podemos or the independentists that have always been open to dialogue with him. He denied that, and now he's facing perhaps the biggest problem that any prime minister or a candidate to be a, a prime minister is going to face in Spain. And why is that? Is that just because of the rise of, of the Vox party, as we said in the introduction, doubling their seats now to over 50? Uh, let's, be, let's be clear. In Spain, uh, the far right has always existed, uh, uh, embedded or disguised mainly within Partido Popular. Remember that the founder of Partido Popular was a very well-known minister of uh, General Franco. Uh, so th there's nothing new here. Uh, in a way, what we have is the need of sitting and talking. And until uh, uh, a socialist party does not start choosing the right people to talk, he will be deriving to the right. They have been the ones really giving voice to these uh, people. Uh, and uh, what they have to do is sitting with Podemos. They have to sit within the Catalan independentists and try to find a constitutional solution for the problem that Spain is facing. If they don't do it, Spain is going to sink. Is there really a chance of that, though? I mean, as we said, this has been going on now for four years, still um, no way through it at the ballot box. I mean, are you really going to see those people who, who are so bitterly uh, entwined against each other, if you like, coming together to, to find a solution? That's why uh, you're right. I mean, that's why I think that... Uh, uh, it's a time of politics. We have to get rid of the judiciary. We have to get rid of this unfair uh, result of all uh, the situation in Catalonia. We have to uh, try to give hand one to the others and make sure that the dialogue come back to, comes back to Spain. If the only uh, conversation is no conversation, then you will have box and you will have far right and people hating democracy, people that in fact come from the dictatorship. They are the same ones that we had 40 years ago. These are, these are their ideological sons. These are fascists uh, moved only by the hatred to anything that's different to them. And the responsibility is for the Socialist Party. The responsibility is for the candidate of being prime minister. He has to try to talk, sit and talk. That's what he has to do with independentists and with Podemos. I mean, you mentioned the Catalan problem. You're obviously there in Barcelona as well. I mean, it's, it's perhaps the big issue, certainly, which has been gripping the northern part of Spain for so long now. It's not the only problem Spain is facing, though, is it? Uh, but uh, let's be clear. It's the big uh, problem because it puts in crisis the constitution of 1979. And... Uh, uh, that constitution was based on uh, uh, what we call the transition consensus, and that consensus was broken. We are not talking about a tiny corner of Spain. We are talking about a quarter of the Spanish economy. We are talking about uh, more than 10 million uh, people that uh, are uh, in the Catalan nation. That's not a small problem. That is uh, the existence of Spain itself. And uh, that's why they are facing this situation. Of course, there are other problems related to economy, related to uh, unemployment, but these are the problems that any normal government has to face. In Spain, what we have is a constitutional problem. We have a democratic problem, a problem of the quality of the democracy. And if a, a prime minister or the candidate of being a prime minister, Pedro Sanchez, doesn't uh, take it well, and he has all the tools to do it, and he had all the tools to do it, before uh, uh, calling for this new election, uh, the, the, the country is going to uh, uh, sink deeper.
Yeah, and you talk about the sinking. I mean, it really is the economy at the moment which people are, are really frustrated by, isn't it? I mean, things have been uh, picking up after the, the financial crisis and now heading right back down again. Uh, yes, but it is true that Spain was uh, recovering well. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, the problem of, of Spain is that uh, politicians have used the Catalan problem as the only issue. And that's why Box has uh, risen the way it has risen, because uh, they play well uh, with this imaginarium that uh, uh, is around the constructum of what is Spain. Uh, and, and they don't understand that they have to manage, that they have to handle uh, a plurinational country. Spain is, going, is not going to be viable. And by the way, this is why we have more uh, than 50 uh, percent of the Catalan population voting for independent parties and uh, trying to uh, go away of Spain. That's very, very clear. Anthony Vivas, political analyst, uh, former mayor of Barcelona, joining us there from Barcelona. Thanks very much for being with us Thanks. on Thank the programme today.